Okay, exploring the maxillary first quadrant, buckle side. Inserting your mirror, retracting the cheek, mirror fulcrum on the max anteriors. Again, client in all the maxillary areas are supine, chin up. Okay, checking the right end. Remember that the terminal shank has to be parallel to the long axis of the tooth when the tip is pointed into proximally. Making sure that you always check your end as if you were going to use it. So point it into proximally, fulcrum where you would fulcrum, look at the terminal shank. If it's parallel, that's the right end. If it's not, that's not the right end when it's going horizontally across the tooth. So get the right end, get your modified pen grasp, and your handle is going to be closer to the third knuckle on your um, instrument hand so that you can get your shank parallel to the long axis of the tooth. We're not. And um, inserting at the distal line angle as usual, your fulcrum with your, sorry, fulcrum with your uh, instrument hand on the incisal edge of the anterior area. If you're further in the mouth, you might be closer to the, the lateral. Some people with shorter hands, the very most might be fulcrumed on the um, buccal cusp or somewhere uh, on the 1-4. Um, we don't want you to go too far back because uh, it, it uh, bends, makes your wrist bend a lot, okay, and less uh, chance of staying parallel as well. So fulcrum in the anteriors, stretch it back, inserting at the distal line angle, and the same type of um, exploratory strokes are used. The wrist activation is in this direction, up and out sort of with your wrist. Go up to the contact and around the contact. Turning the instrument using the other side of the tip, inserting at the distal line angle. Insertion is at the distal line angle. Activation is a little bit of uh, rocking, a little bit of rotation. For, uh, diagonal strokes again on the facial. As you approach that mesial line angle, you'll need to start dropping your hand to make sure that you're uh, adapted and as well parallel with the terminal shank to the mesial. Rolling it in your fingers so that it stays adapted all the way. Staying, stay at the bottom of the pocket to the midline of the tooth. And then again, vertical strokes of course interproximally and the mesial, the activation is up and out again with the wrist. Coming around the contact and you're done. And just to recap, the hand position for the buckle of the first quadrant, sitting at 8 o'clock, head straight ahead, chin up. Hand position, uh, Again, you're kind of cupping the bottom teeth with your palm of your hand and uh, keeping your hand low on the distal and the mesial. The only time you're coming up higher like this is when you're pivoting to get your line angle at the distal line angle and then as you're rolling across the facial surface you should be coming back down again, taking a few extra strokes at that line angle and then working it into proximally from there. The handle position, just to reiterate, is around the top, uh, the third knuckle for a lot of the uh, maxillary areas.